Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in strong opposition to H.R. 1797, which the House will consider later today. It's another in a long, long line of assaults on women's health, and it's blatantly unconstitutional. Reproductive health, including abortion care, is a private medical decision between a woman and her health care provider, period. A woman's right to choose is a fundamental freedom, and there's no place for dark-suited politicians to impose their personal beliefs on a woman's private medical decisions. H.R. 1797 doesn't even include an adequate life exception that takes a woman's health into account. It's patently unconstitutional and is completely inconsistent with the Supreme Court's decision in Roe v. Wade. Mr. Speaker, once again, it's clear my Republican colleagues are unable or unwilling to put forth ideas to create jobs, strengthen the economy, or invest in America's future. Instead, here we go with another ideological battle. And so America's women have one unified message for Republicans. Stay out of our doctor's office, stay out of our health care, and leave us alone.